just to kind of get our legs moving first since we're still kind of cold. So he'll give me a nice wide base. I'm going to start in this like position here where you get that like under lower jack position. Uh, we're going to grab an ankle, okay? Kick on the same side, kick it through to here to the side. From here we put our X guard in, okay? And this will be fine. We're going to use the overhook here first, okay? Switch. forward, put it in. The second one is going to be here. We're going to kick. You can, from here, instead of going over top, we're going to extend and get under. So we're doing our overhook. This time we're doing our underhook position. So you're getting in here, kick forward, extending. We're just going to go back and forth into those. We'll do those separately. So we'll do the first one, about a minute and a half. Switch down to the bottom. Under. Okay, and what I'm trying to do is get that first X part in and then get him to stay in. And then we're going to start here with the overhook initially. So he gives me a decent base, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend out and then kick under here. So it slides down from the knee below and then you extend. You can hold onto the sleeve if you'd like. You can push the knee back a little bit more. Okay, here, kick out. Now, we can just come up this way. We can just hit another thing. Here, just yes. Just like up. Let's ride through the ankle off here. So, I have an arm. Go for each other. Okay, but coming up with something sweet. Okay, you can do the ankle off. Just go from the side here. Go from the end. Go from the top. And then go to the end again. Down here, you can do the comment basically. So, I want you guys to grab the bottom of the ankle. Grab the collar. does this, I'm going to let go because he posts out of his hand. I'm going to take that leg that's up right now while this leg, because if I try to go into this one, it's not to say that I can't, but the problem is, is for me, I run the cross faces. So I try to dive, no, he just does this. Whereas he can cross face me all he wants to, I can still go off the side. Go under. Yeah. Now with a single X position, you can either sit up or when you get the speed, you go to the fork, you can post your foot. I'm going to extend him forward to try to sweep the sit-up sweep. When he tries to push back into it, I let him and grab the ankle. So again, the new step on the grab, extend. This is basically a review of last Saturday. Sits up, tricep, I pose, kick to like three. Okay, he extends me, he gets his full X, he extends, and I push my weight back in, he gets the shooting position. To making this one work, guys, is that when you go for it, okay, so when we get the position, I know that I'm going to grab that shin, so I extend, and when he comes back in, I let my legs come back towards me. Don't resist. So you extend, you start to feel him come in, come in, go catch, and get his foot before touching the mat. Okay, so as he steps in, you let him come in, and then you up. So, both those will do that step. But again, the first one, same thing, just pick out here. Okay, first one down. Pull the person in, and I'm gonna poof in the post. Okay, now the point is to get him to post on the mat, so now I'm in a better position. So, what I'm gonna do from here, there's different ways to go about it. I'm gonna take this foot, put it on the hip, and put my first X hook in. And then the rear will punch through it. Okay? okay? And then we have our X start. Now, this time, he's gonna stand up on me. And hey, we're gonna say that the guy's putting crazy pressure on you trying to go here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift the butt, foot on the hip, and right here. Now we've got some control. Now from here, we kick this leg through, punch it, bring it back just like we did earlier. He drives towards me, we put that X in, grab the wrist, grab the ankle, grab the sleeves, whatever you can get a hold of here, and then you're gonna pull down, 
Okay? He may be starting to start, try to stay up, it's fine. And you can go, you can always go straight up overhead. Whatever he falls. We're setting it up, but when we're going through here, a lot of times guys will drive their weight straight up on you here. They might be grabbing a collar here, like turning and facing you and stuff like this, like really trying to stop this. So that's when we let them come in full and then right over top. So again, that requires a good look. So when you guys are in that position, if that was super practical, you're giving them that look. Okay, last one we're gonna do. So we're gonna go through uh, any of the entries that you Got the overhook, we got the grip. I'm gonna start working here. I, I wanna try to get this hand into play. So if he's keeping it bad, I'll start messing with stuff. When he comes around, boom, there we grab it, eat it, and grab the same side collar. There we go. This is, this is gonna be more problematic for me because now I can't keep it this way. I can't keep it back very well. And we're right here. From here, we gotta reach up and pull. No, I like to say that, that helps me.